This is a quick video to show you how to install and get using Decipher Text Message, an application for your Mac that allows you to view and save the text messages from your iPhone. To get started, I've downloaded the Decipher Text Message application from the Decipher Media website, and I'm just going to install the application by dragging the icon into the Applications folder. Now I'm going to go to the Applications folder, where I've just uh, installed it to, and double-click it to start. Now it's going to take a minute to load my backup data because I have about 20,000 or so text messages. In the meantime, I'm going to point out an important tip. Uh, the Decipher text message application actually reads your text messages from your iPhone backup. So if you haven't backed up or synced your iPhone in a while, now would be a good time to do that so that you have the most recent data. Uh, to do that, you just open iTunes, plug in your iPhone, and then right-click on the device in the devices list and click backup. But we're not going to do that right now because it takes a few minutes. So, as we can see, I've got a listing of all of my text messages and who they're from. And the names on those text messages are pulled from my address book on my Mac, which thankfully I sync with my iPhone so that all the names are available for seeing. Uh, you can see a text message thread just by clicking on the person. And as we can see, there's a lot of messages between me and my old roommate, Valerie. And somewhere down here, we have some cute images, like one of my dog who missed me when I was in Boston. And you can just click on the, on the image, and it will show you the full image. Also, if you want to save one of the images, you can just drag it right to the desktop or wherever you want in Finder. Uh, you can also do some cool things, like save your whole conversation as a text document or copy the whole conversation onto your clipboard for using in other documents. Also, you can print the conversation, which I like to use to actually save my conversation as a PDF. So let's save that to the desktop. And as you can see, we've got a cool PDF. And somewhere in here, I've got some images. And it shows a little thumbnail of the images for you. Uh, and that's it. You know, please con feel free to contact Decipher Media if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoy using the app.